Caitlin, wake up. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for snapping at you. You just wake up. Get up. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, thank dog you aren't dead. I didn't want to kill you that way. I mean, uh, I'm glad you're still alive. I hate you, Dad. I hate you. I'm not going to kill Natalie. And neither are you. I won't let you. <laughs> What's so funny? Stop laughing. I knew you had a thing for her. <laughs> How selfish of you that you're only keeping her alive for her looks. I'm not. Do you think you have what it takes to kill me? Your own flesh and blood? You won't be able to protect her forever. So. Stella, we're so sorry this happened to you. We should have... Relax, Mom. I'm fine. I should have never dated him in the first place. Note to self, never date anyone out of pity. She's going to be okay, right? Yep. She's actually free to go if she wants to. We didn't find anything wrong with her, luckily. So she should be okay. Oh, thank dog. Who else could be visiting you? It's probably just Luna and her brother. Chase? What, what are you doing here? I came to see if you were okay. Aw, that's so sweet. Moms, can you... Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, dear. We'll be watching you. So, how's everything? Why are you even here? I was just on my way to check on Adam, and then I, I saw you, and here I am. Oh no, don't act like you care about me now. I know what it may sound like, but I came to apologize, okay? I'm sorry for what Adam did to you. And I should have noticed he was hurting you. But I didn't. I was... I was stupid. You think by apologizing, everything will just magically disappear or something? What? No. You Barkwoods are all the same. Just get out of here. I... Uh... Never mind. Oh, great. Come in. Why, look who it is. My little brother. How nice to see you. Not. What the tail is wrong with you? You went too far. Um, hello. Stella and her dumb friend started it. Oh, wow. Were you so threatened by a tiny cat in a dashun that you had the audacity to- I wasn't scared. What was the point of that anyway? Um, isn't it obvious? They had to know their place. And they're trying to ruin my life. Well, I hope they do. Such brave words coming from you, little brother. Dad is surely rolling in his grave laughing at how pathetic you are. <laughs> oh yeah, he would be laughing. <laughs> About how you got sent to the hospital by a bunch of losers. Mom is on her way. I'll be at the house. Those freaks. 
How dare she humiliate you like that again in front of the whole school? Now, the students are talking about your breakup behind your backs. They even say you're abusive. Tyson set me up. Hen, Dylan, and the rest of those losers are going to pay. They are not getting away with this. But first, a snack break. Come on, stupid thing. Right this way, Mr. McCross. He hit his head pretty hard on the table. Is there anything you can do to fix this? No, oh, no. We're just going to stitch the wound up. You. You'll see him in a moment. Of course he's here. He's right here in this way, Why, out of this gigantic hospital, do we have to see each other in the same place? Hey, what are you doing in here? Go back into your room. You must be the Adam Barkwood I've heard so much about. At last, we finally meet. How's your ear? Gone, thanks to him. Sir, if you don't calm down, we're going to have to call security. I'm so sorry this happened to you. You should be nice from now on. Or there will be dire consequences. Well, there will be dire consequences for that freaking nature next to you. Excuse me? Not you, idiot. Him. Please stop. This freak of nature is my son. If you have any problems with him, you can take it up with me. I'll beat you up too, old man. Just watch me. Come on, put him uh, up. Uh, Dad? Calm down, kid, or we're going to have to restrain you. Get off of me. I can buy and sell you. Once I get out of here, I'll do something far worse than what you did to me. So you better watch your back, freak! But I still ain't get my freaking snacks. He seems nice. I hate my life. Okay, it's my second and last day of suspension. Relatives aren't home. Friends are in school. I have no clue where Dylan is. Ugh, there's nothing to do. I'm so bored. This is who I really am, Natalie. But to be honest, Dylan was kind of scary when he was like that. Wait, no, I shouldn't think about that. I told you so. Ah! Who? What? T Tyson? Where are you? Out here. Help! I'm gonna fall. With the tail? Let me just pull you in. I got you, Tyson. Whoa! Wow, look at how close we are, Natalie. This is so romantic, isn't it? Please get off of me. You're even more beautiful up close. I just noticed that your parents aren't here. And neither is Baxter and Dylan. Tyson, stop messing around. Get off. Okay, okay, fine. Jeez. Way to ruin the moon. What are you doing here? Well, visiting you. Duh. Were you watching me? Why would you ever ask that, Natalie? I'm not a stalker. Aren't you supposed to be in school? School's over for today, silly. Why did you go through my window? It's a lot more fun taking the window than the front door. <laughs> Was Stella at the school today? Is she okay? No, but who cares? Anyway. Everyone's talking about the fight and how awesome I was. Really? That and the fact that Dylan's a monster. Of course they are. What do you want to do now? I... Oh, I know. There's this restaurant that just opened up downtown. We can go there and, like, right now? Uh, I don't think I can. You don't have anything to do. It's a school night anyway. What about this weekend? I'm going to the mall with Stella. It's not going to take up the whole weekend. I have a bunch of homework to make up. And that's why I did everything for you. All of your homework for this week, including the days that you were absent, are already completed. Thanks to me. You really shouldn't have, Tyson. I wanted to so you could be free. All you have to do is remember to turn the papers in. 
I stuffed everything into your locker. All of your classes? Finished. All of my classes? Don't tell me I did all of this for nothing. Just so you can be with a girl you barely know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. However, I wanted to do the work myself. Ugh, you never appreciate me. I haven't slept for two days straight doing this stuff for you. That's how much I care about you, Natalie. You're going to show up, right? This Saturday? That's the only day I'm free. Stella wouldn't mind if you canceled. She has other friends. I guess I can cancel my plans with her. Possum! And make sure you dress nice that day. It's a date. A date? Ugh, I never understand kids these days. I wonder why he hates me so much. So, here's what we'll do. We'll lure them to an abandoned warehouse. Oh, there's some the ominous whispers nearby. Are we going to kill them? Adam didn't say exactly what to do. He only said to make them not come back to school. Oh, and make it look like an accident. But who cares? We're getting our debts paid off. How are we going to lure them there? They're high schoolers. They'll fall for anything. We don't even know where they live. I do. You didn't hear nothing. Go ahead and scram, old man. Before we beat you Cold. I suppose the high schoolers you're planning to kill consists of Dylan McCross and Natalie Clawson? That's right. How do you... Ow. I have my ways, but let's just say, I don't like them either. They've been such a pain to deal with lately. I know where they live. I can easily bring them here to you. I don't think this is a good idea. Come on, dude. We still have to pay off our college loans. Yeah, don't tell me you're chickening out already. Adam can easily tell the cops about what you're doing and throw you both in prison for attempted murder. With me by your side, you won't be caught. Okay, Mr. Uh, you don't need to know my name. I'm just a helpful neighbor passing through. Now, are you in? Okay, where's that old man at? He said he was gonna be here. Isn't it, like, weird that he would, like, offer to help? And then leave to go get them? Like, immediately? Is he gonna kidnap them? Well, if he brings the cops, then we can just lie ourselves out. Great, you finally showed up. What the heck is that? A mallet. Uh, a mallet? So we're actually going to go through with this? Of course we are, Han. Hey, why did you lock the door? Oh, I wasn't supposed to lock it. My mistake. So, old man, where are they? They're not here, but you are. Huh? <laughs> Gerald! Come on, come on, open! <sighs> so pathetic. Ah, my leg! Please don't do this, whoever you are. Uh, uh, Adam Barkwood sent us. I wasn't gonna kill anyone. Honest, please, let <laughs> me. I still got it. Now, where did I put that gasoline at? This means war. 